Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another State of Decay 2 video. Today I wanted to share with you guys a really cool tip that I think will help a lot of you guys out when it comes to gathering resources as quickly as possible. Uh, the most annoying thing in the game for me right now is the fact that, that I have a large community, I have a large base, and I'm constantly running low on resources, right? Like, it's super annoying when I'm trying to do something else. I'm trying to complete a mission. Maybe I'm trying to level up my skills for a certain character. And, uh, and I get hit with the, we're low on food. So I go out and I scavenge and I look for food. I find a rucksack. I come back. And I, and I put the rucksack of food in and now I'm low on meds or now I'm low on ammo. And it, it gets really aggravating having to constantly keep up with that. Um, which is, you know, I know it's part of the game, but, but we want to be able to do that as quickly as possible so that we can put our focus on other things, whether it be, you know, trying to gain um, influence points to get a new base or, or try to level up skills or whatever. So uh, I wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing that have, that's helped me so much and has gotten me uh, to take care of this running low on resources dilemma uh, much easier. It's, it's made it much quicker and, uh, and hopefully it'll help some of you guys out. So the key to success here, guys, is using your radio. And I know a lot of people don't do this and I was very, I, I neglected the radio for a long time because I, I really didn't care that much. But now, like now that I've seen what it's done for me and how much time it saved me on the game, it's just it's game changing. If you guys haven't used it, basically when you open up the radio, you can you can click on find resources slash people. This is also a way that you can find other survivors. So if you're looking for more people in your community, you can do this as well. I believe it's like 150 influence points. Uh, but when you pull up, open your radio, and uh, and you click on find resources, basically you can spend, and it's only 35 influence points to guarantee yourself a rucksack for whatever you want, whether it be materials, food, medicine, ammo, or fuel, uh, you'll be able to find a rucksack. Um, basically what you do is you radio it in, costs you 35 influence points. Within like 10 seconds, uh, you're hit with three locations on your map. Um, where there's going to be a rucksack of whatever it is you're looking for. Generally, they're going to be close. If you've already scavenged everything in your area um, and there's literally no other spots, it's, it might be a distance. It might be across your map. But generally, all three of the locations that it's going to give you are together. They're not like really separated. They're all around each other, so it makes it much easier. Um, but it's really, really cool. Like One thing that I noticed is there's a couple of houses that were around my base that um, I did hit, but I left like one or two things open. Like, like let's say for example, there was there was five um, things to open in the house, and I opened four, and then like the fifth one I opened, but it wasn't anything good, so I just left it there, and it was technically still one thing. What it would do is when I would call the radio and, and call for resources, it would automatically change that thing that I already opened into a rucksack, and it would be like, okay, well, it's got to be in one of these three locations, and one of the houses would only have one thing to open, and and generally that was the hint, like okay, if there's only one thing to open, that's probably where the rucksack is. So, uh, but this is just something that has completely saved me. And, uh, and and it does cost influence points, so, but it's not that bad at all. It's only 35. So uh, you do get influence po points for bringing back the rucksack to your base so that you get some back. And then, you know, just going to get them, you're going to hit zombies. You're going to do something that's going to get you influence points. So 35 is really not that bad, especially when you're trying to stack up on stuff. If you do it quickly and you do all these in a row, um, you can you can take care of everything and I have to worry about it for a while. What I like to do is I kind of like to get all of it done at once. Like I'll, I'll hit the food, the meds, and, and the ammo really, really quick. And, uh, and as you guys can see, there is a 15-minute delay for each one. Uh, so if I locate food, as soon as I, I, I as soon as I radio it in and I find the food, there's a 15 second timer t before I can call food again. So I can call all of them, like I can call all in a row, but there's going to be a 15 second timer in between um, to kind of keep you from just constantly stacking food every couple seconds. So, but 15 minutes is not that long. By the time you get to the food, by the time you get the rucksack and get back, deposit it into your base, it's almost time. Like you, you are almost already done with the 15 minutes. So it's really not that bad at all. But uh, it's definitely something that has helped me and saved me so much time in this game it's nice to be able to hit the radio you know and pretty much use 35 influence points to guarantee uh, a rucksack of food in one little area so um, it's nice to be able to just go there and, and it basically be like hey here's the food come get the rucksack you know where it's at instead of having to go around and spend a lot of time searching and I know a lot of you guys really enjoy doing that I get that that's part of the game you know like don't roast me in the comments I understand that like you know that's part of the fun is going around and trying to find everything but when you're trying to do other things things when you're focused on another objective again whether that be to level up your skills maybe you're trying to complete the campaign take out play cards whatever it be 
Uh, it's really, really annoying when you're constantly having to refuel your resources, um, including your fuel, no pun intended, I guess. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so use the radio. Um, you can find resources. Again, you can find other survivors, which is cool, but um, definitely use this. It'll make your life much easier. It'll save you a lot of time and you'll be able to get a lot more done. So uh, anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Can we be friends?